fell from the steel factory and he really, really does pong. All right, I found a Canadian National Heritage site here. Good morning to you all and welcome to another adventure, uh, My CDU Life Adventures, episode number four. And today we're leaving Lake Erie behind and we're heading over to Lake Ontario, which is just over here. Uh, it's a beautiful, gorgeous day here in uh, this part of Ontario, early June. So anyway, the ski's ready and we're heading to Hamilton today and that's where our adventure is going to be. So join me as we head out to explore Burlington Bay and Hamilton Harbour. strong southwesterly winds <laughs> have actually whipped up the water pretty good here so looks like I'll be getting wet the old birds Gee. So here we are, Hamilton Harbour, Bay, Burlington Bay. Stinky, smelly, noisy, full of birds, full of bird poop. There's bird poop everywhere. So we're going to get out of this area very shortly. Go do some exploring. Uh, due to the marina being inside the harbour, I decided to actually venture out first and then turn around and start the adventure coming into the harbour. It just looks better that way. Making our way into uh, Burlington Bay, Hamilton Harbour. I have a little tour around so we can see. It's uh, very choppy in the channel here coming through. Um, as you can tell, I'm bouncing around quite a lot. <laughs> so uh, it's pretty rough. And some people like playing in the waves, I guess. <laughs> Bridge. Uh, for what I know of, uh, built in 1962, and I believe this is the sixth bridge to be commissioned to uh, cross the span here. And uh, this bridge, I've actually seen it in a few movies in the past. Robocop 3 years and years ago, and I recognised it. So Robocop 3 was filmed right on the road here and used this bridge. So just a little fact I knew about. And this is the famous Burlington Skyway, which is also known as the Allen something something. Uh, but no one ever uses that name, we just know it's the Burlington Skyway. And I commute over that every day and I travel over a couple of thousand times a year, quite honest. So anyway, into the Hamilton Harbour we go. Canadian steamship um, lines uh, delivering, which I'd imagine will be uh, coal or uh, some kind of ore. So, anyway, this is a yeah, DeFasco steel plant. Uh, it's been here since 1912. Uh, back then, it was named uh, the Dominion something, Dominion Steel Company, or whatever. Anyway, it's gone by the name of DeFasco now. Uh, but it stretches all the way down there. And uh, ships continuously coming here, dropping the stuff off. And uh, yeah, now in the early 1800s, 
uh, this was all very much Indian land. Of course it would have been Indian land. And it was also known as Geneva Lake back then and Cabasa, Lake Cabasa or the Cabasas or something like that. Then in mid to eight, mid 1800s onwards, became very commercialized. Uh, a lot of coal and steel works and things like that. And um, this area became very much of a cesspit. It's actually listed now as one of the most, or it was listed as one of the most uh, polluted areas of Canada's waterways. And there's a place over there called Randall's Reef, I'm going to try and get to it, uh, which is the area which is the most polluted part of the water of the whole of the Great Lake system. Uh, it's disgusting. Uh, it's going to cost them hundreds of millions of dollars to clean it all up, and they're nearly finished doing it, from what I've read. But this is fascinating, checking all this out. I think that shit's dropping off coal. That looks like coal on that side. And that's definitely not coal there. And there's more coal down the bottom end. Iron ore? Wait, what it is, iron ore. Now, steel hasn't been produced in Hamilton since 2011. Um, they do other things here, but they don't actually produce it anymore. So they roll it and do other things with it, and, uh, other production stuff, but they don't actually create the steel here anymore. And at one point, I believe there used to be three steel factories, and now there's only two. They're in operation. Uh, this is DeFasco, and the other one around the corner we'll see very shortly is Stelco. around here like plastics bags garbage you name it it's uh it's all littered it's uh, a right mess now i'm not too sure exactly where randall's reef is i wonder if this is it right here i just know it's in the uh, southeast corner which is exactly where i am um it stinks around here there is a chemical plant just up there and the smell from the steel factory and it really really does pong it's uh it's nasty and what's even more scary, when the waves splash, it's going in my mouth, and I know this water is very contaminated. Uh, so, try and get out of here pretty quickly and start making our way around the harbour, I think. God, that wind really, really just picked up. Holy shit! Oh, I gotta get out of that. That is nasty. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but look at the dust just blowing with the wind right across the lake. Or well, the harbour, I should say. You can actually taste it in your mouth. It's like very gritty. Like nasty. You can taste it. I'm gonna protect it now from all that dust. It was like really, really like getting in the back of my throat. Oh, now I put this on, the stop. <laughs> it disappeared. Rusty, uh, half submerged in the water. Now, if anyone watching this video works at, uh, around here and tell me what this is, I'd be most appreciated. Uh, I've not come across this written anywhere when I was doing some research. So, what is it? It looks like a ship or something, well, a vessel or some type, or no, it's got the uh, features on it tying up. And, I don't know, maybe it held fuel. I don't know. There's another one next to it. Uh, Wyaton. Something dark. Oh. 
Henry R. Platt. I can't tell what that says. Two vessels put together. Another one down there as well. What's it used for? Yeah, we're on security cameras, so we'll wave. As you can see, uh, it's quite choppy in here. We're just sloshing around. It's uh, really hard because there's no set direction for the waves. One minute they're coming that way, the next thing they're going like all different directions. So anyway, uh, Snellco. It was originally called the Steel Company of Canada. And a few name changes later, I think they've gone with the uh, original name, which was known for, like a nickname, is which white tree is under now, which is Stelco. I also believe Stelco have a place on Lake Erie, Nanticoke. Uh, their big production place there as well. And at night time, this place at night, quite often from the highway, looks spectacular. With big flames coming out of the, uh, the tops of the uh, stacks over there, here and over there. It's actually really, really cool to see. Uh, yeah, we're going to carry on going around close to the city and just over there is the World War II um, warship. I found a Canadian National Heritage site here. A World War II Canadian destroyer. Just imagine being on that in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. guns up there. Well, I bet they still do the markings in their Roman numerals here. Depth charges off the back? Would it have been depth charges? This is quite a nice part down here, but sheltered. Just shut that off. boat ramp as well here just with the main city's uh, boat launch now I'm out of that wind it is so hot here right now like I'm melting definitely like 31 32 degrees right now right we're at the very far west end of Burlington Bay uh, just behind me is Dundurn B, whatever that means, and uh, Dundurn A is there. And Coots Paradise is just in that waterway. It's like a, another uh, little lake in there. I don't think we can go through there, but on the other side of that is what they call Coots Paradise.
back in the choppier waters and uh, near the end of the, this adventure around Billington Bay, Hamilton Harbour. I enjoyed it. It's nice. It's actually nice to try and get, get, actually get close to those factories at long last. And see the industrial side from the water rather than just from the skyway over there. Really neat. Cool being close to these, really cool. Well, that's it, that's another adventure over and done with. Uh, that was Hamilton Harbour, uh, Burlington Bay, uh, Fisherman's Creek Marina. Busy place uh, when we got here, it wasn't that busy, and it's packed. There's people still lined up trying to get in here. Uh, neat place though. Oh, busy. It's a little chaotic at the ramp just there. 